Welcome to a demonstration of Enterprise Vault Mobile Web Access. Enterprise Vault Mobile Web Access was built using HTML5 mobile technology to support screen rendering for multiple mobile devices. As you'll see when we log in, the personal archive screen displays messages in a message list view. Each of the message list view items contains the subject of the message, the recipient of the message, as well as who the message was from. You'll also notice the total number of messages in the archive, as well as whether the message has been tagged previously or not. Additionally, you will find the date in which the message was received. By simply touching the message, it will open the message and show the entire contents of the message. Again, you'll see the subject, the recipient, the sender, the date, and also the tag for the message, as well as the entire contents of the message that you'll see here. You can also navigate from one message to another in your archive simply by clicking the arrow button to advance or also the arrow button to the left to go back to your previous message. If you want to go back to your home screen for your archive, simply click the back button. This will bring you back to your home screen. You'll notice that you can also perform searches across your archive. This is simple to do. Simply click in the search button, type in your search criteria, and click the search button. As you'll see, we have a new set of search criteria. We went from just over 12,000 messages to now 796 messages. I can click on any of the messages and look at the contents of the message in its entirety with our infinite scroll feature. Anywhere in the message where the word fuel is located, it will be highlighted in yellow. I can continue to search or if I would like, I can go back to my iterative search feature and click back and I'm right back to my previous search. If I'd like to go back to the beginning of my archive, I can simply click the back button again and this will bring me back to my search. I can also perform an advanced search. By keeping my criteria for the search in the search bar, I can click on the Actions button and select Advanced Search. You'll notice that my initial criteria of fuel is still in the message, in the search bar. You'll also notice that I can search by subject, mail direction, sender, recipient, start date, end date, and whether the message has an attachment and what attachment type it has. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to search the word fuel along with any message that was sent by chris.germany and execute that particular search. You'll see that I went from 796 messages to 512. Also note that the name Chris.Germany has been highlighted in the message list view. Also, since I have my messages and I've determined what messages I would like to use, I can select multiple messages and apply tags to those messages using the tagging feature. By clicking on the Actions button and selecting the Tag Messages, I can create a new tag. I have two options. I can supply the tags for a new apply to selected tags or apply to all results. I'm going to apply to the selected tags. You'll see I have already got a, a tag in here named fuel. I can change that tag or I can create a brand new tag. To create a brand new tag I simply just click in the spacebar and type in 
the words that I would like to use by clicking the apply button I execute the tag for those three messages at any time I can go back to my previous search by clicking the back button and here I am again back at the messages from my entire archive if I'd like to look at any of my previous tag messages I can simply click the actions bar go to the tag manager and select which tag I'd like to look at since I selected the fuel to tag for my new messages I can simply click on those and it'll produce the three messages that I had tagged by going back to the beginning I can also choose to compose a new message I can compose a new message by clicking on the action button and clicking the compose button. by default the senders information will be indicated in the from area of the screen I can choose who I would like to send new messages to and begin typing a message along with a subject I can also add attachments if I have those available and type in an entire message this will send the message directly to the end user and it will also store another copy in the archive for Chris Germany I can also reply to messages if I choose to do so by opening up the message I can go to the actions bar and choose to reply reply all or forward a message if I would like I can even restore a message back to my original message server by using the restore feature the reply function reply all and forward all work in a similar manner than compose simply click on the option and you'll notice that the information for the sender and recipient are already filled in along with the subject and I can compose my message above the original message and there you have it I can go back to my original archive again and I can also adjust my settings for my archive by clicking on the settings option in the actions bar I will be prompted to change the language and the time zone for which I reside any changes that will be applied to the archive must be done so by clicking the apply button anytime I've chosen to log out of my archive I can do so by simply clicking the log out button located off of the action bar and it'll bring me right back to my home screen you'll notice also on the home screen that if I've forgotten my password I can enter in my name and click the forgot password link I'll be asked to re-enter my email address along with enter in the captcha information once I've done that a new password will be sent directly to my email where I'll be able to re-log in Usernames and logins, passwords alike, work across both the desktop version and the mobile version of the archive. Any changes made to the archive within personal.cloud or enterprisevault.cloud mobile web access will be reflected in both archives.